Shall we start? Good. So we are in Act Four, Scene Two, Line Number around one hundred and five. Look, the matters have become very, very worse. We have a feeling at this point. that we are approaching the climax of the play iago's machinations have been highly successful very very successful so he has succeeded in uh, making othello believe that his wife othello's wife desdemona is in love with cassio she is unfaithful she has slept with the cassio disloyal and unfaithful well no man in this world will tolerate such a situation and he othello an army general a highly respectful man well as far as he is concerned this is an insult this is an insult to his self respect and he has openly questioned his wife he has hit her in her face in front of in public in front of all the people in front of his cousin in front of her cousin lodovico who came lately from uh venice well the matters have become very very serious and uh, he used all sorts of words at uh, desdemona he called her a whore a strumpet a prostitute and he has you know uh he has he he has openly told them that his her chamber is a brothel and uh, emilia is a brothel a uh, housekeeper a mistress of and he even offers emilia money for doing the job for letting in men secretly and closing the door locking the door and uh, you know keeping watch outside if somebody comes she would give a signal you know by coughing by making a sound by you know just you know uh, a, a natural way of you know giving a signal uh, to somebody by just a cough or a shout or you know something like that some signals so she has success with he says he insults her by saying that you have been highly successful in doing the job of a housekeeper of a brothel keeper and total uh, even you know pays her some money so you know this is the situation now and uh, as far as desdemona is concerned she is terribly unhappy very very unhappy and uh, in line number 105 can you see one line number 105 shamal can you see the text alan right prithi tonight lay on my bed my wedding sheets remember call thy husband hither as if as if you know she has just them on has a a premonition a foreboding a foreknowledge of what is going to happen emilia tonight on my bed you put 
my wedding sheets. Also, please do something else. Tell your husband, Iago, he is the best man, isn't it? Because he is behind these people. Just them on a poor, innocent girl, you know, uh, Othello. He is also, you know, a very, very gullible, credulous man. Easy to believe, easy to be deceived. Well, as far as they are concerned, Iago is the most honest man, the most truthful man in this world. So, Desdemona tells Emilia, please call your husband hither. Tell your husband to come here. Well, Emilia, here is a change indeed. Things have completely changed. I don't know what happened. I don't know what we are going to do. And he, she goes out. Well, it is completely changed. I don't know what to do. She goes out. She exits. Just Demona. It is meet. Meet means proper, suitable. Well, it is fair. It is meet. I should be. I used so. Very meet. Well, it is very, very fair. It is very, very fair. Well, how have I been behaved? How he might stick the smallest opinion on my least misuse? Well, you know, I haven't done anything. Well, I, you know, because, you know, she has done nothing. She is totally, you know, innocent. Well, then Iago comes in. Iago re-enter Emilia with uh, Iago. Iago comes in. Well, what is your pleasure, madam? What shall I do for you? What can I do for you, madam? How is it with you? How are you? He asks as if he knows nothing. Well, you know, he is the kingpin. He is the mastermind. The entire thing, the entire episode has been masterminded by Iago as if he knows nothing. He asks, what is your pleasure, madam? What can I do for you? What shall I do for you? How are you? Then Desdemona, I cannot tell. Those that do teach young babes, do it with the gentle means and easy tasks. You know how we deal with the children. The grown-up people, how they deal with the children, they do it gently and easily. Well, he might have treated me like that. Othello might have treated me like a, a little child. I am still a, a child, you know. I am not used to uh, such kinds of abuses, such kind of harsh treatment. I am not used to it. I am still a child. Maybe because of that, that he is treating me like that. Only, you know, I am sad because I am not used to it. I am inexperienced. Well, she is inexperienced because, you know, uh, she is a, she's a, she's a, she's a lady of, an, of, of noble birth. Well, she is not used to such uh, ill treatment, such mistreatment, such bad treatment from especially men. So, you know, she's, uh, she's, you know, sorry at herself. Iago, what is the matter, lady? What's the matter? What happened? Can you tell me? Then Emilia says, Emilia intervenes and she says, Alas, Iago, my lord hath so behold her, behold her, called her a whore, called her a prostitute, behold her several times, thrown such despite and heavy terms upon her as true hearts cannot bear. Well, you know, good people, nice people, gentle, decent people will not be able to tolerate these things. Well, she used such bad terms, heavy terms, heavy words upon her. Then Desdemona says, Am I that name, Iago? Am I that name? Please tell me, do I deserve it? Do I deserve to be called a whore, a prostitute? Then Iago says, What name, fair lady? What did what name? 
what name did he use what is the word that he used then desdemona says well such as she says my lord did she did say i was avalu parayna vaakkal adhegam enne petti upayogichu ennu emilia parayna vaakkal aanu because you know i can't use it i can't openly say it because i don't like to use that word i don't like to utter that word with my with my mouth aa vaakku enikku parayan buddhimuttundu aa avalu parayna aa vaakku such as she says my lord did say i was because you know the 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 words that you know uh, he used as emilia says it emilia emilia you know explains she makes things very clear he called her a whore a prostitute a beggar in his drink could not have laid such terms upon his callet well even a beggar wouldn't tolerate even a beggar a beggar on the street would not tolerate or couldn't have called this word you know his slut a worse name a beggar a beggar on the street would never have used such a word at the prostitute that he meets on the streets it is such a bad word terribly bad then iago says as if he knows nothing you know he is a very very clever actor a, a pretender why did he say so what's the matter why did he do that why did he chose to use such words at you just the one says i don't know i'm sure i am none such i i don't know why he used i only know that i am not such a person then iago don't weep do not weep do not weep alas the day oh, what day it is it's a terribly bad day very bad day oh please don't cry don't cry emilia says uh hath she forsook so many noble matches her father her country and her friends well you know all these things idella avulu upekshichu vandana oru manushine vendittu just for one man she forsook she abandoned she gave up all those chances because several matches several proposals of marriage came in venice so many noble men decent handsome young men you know cultured refined young men came but she forsook she gave up all those proposals she forsook she gave up her father she said goodbye to her father she said goodbye to her mother we don't know who her mother is he she said the goodbye to her country and her friends everything to be called it was it was all these things done to be called a whore a prostitute urvesia endu vilikkapadan vendiyirunno avul idella upekshichu vannathu would it not make one be certainly you know it will make one terribly sad very very sad doesn't that make you want to cry certainly it would force tears from one's eyes one will be terribly bad in such a situation then well the she sorry about herself it is my wretched fortune it is my bad luck i can't blame anyone i can't blame i mean uh, 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 othello i can't blame anyone i just you know blame my own stars my bad luck my misfortune iago bishrew him for it damn him he is you know he is terribly bad damn him let him go to hell how did he get such an idea how comes this trick upon him how did othello get such an idea then desdemona says nay heaven just no only heaven knows only god knows emilia says i will be hanged if some eternal villain look at this this is very interesting edengilum tendi avalde manasil aayirikkum idinde pinnil edengilum oru tendi aayirikkum you know if some eternal villain some busy and insinuating rogue some bad 
lying jerk might have you know made up this rumor to get some poison into the mind of othello some idiot some stupid fellow some jerk some meddling evil you know some beggar might have uh, injected poison into the mind of othello some you know remember all these words are used in front of iago who is responsible and in fact nobody knows you know emilia and desdemona does it, they 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 do not know that you know iago is responsible or for all these things so i mean look at what emilia says i will be hanged i bet my life i bet i am sure that some eternal villain some evil man some wretched man some damned man some busy insinuating rogue some bastard some stupid fellow might have you know some cogging consenting slave to get some office to get some benefit to get some you know to get some position to get some position have not devised this slander he might have invented and spread this slander this night i'll be hanged i am sure i am sure about it iago says fai oh no 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 there is no such man there is no such man it is impossible no it is impossible i don't believe because you know in fact unknowingly well emilia was referring to uh, iago and his tricks i will be hanged she says well iago says try there is no such man it is impossible desdemona if any such there be if there is any such man heaven pardon him look so innocent so refined so chaste so pure so innocent so refined a lady angane oru manushan undengil devam avanodu porkatte even at this juncture even at this point desdemona says like this well if there is such a man heaven pardon him let god uh, you know uh, pardon him let god uh, give him mercy emilia says well a halter pardon him devam alla avanu maap kodukkandathu aarachaarude oru kayara avanu maap kodukkandathu a halter you know a hangman's noose the noose that is you know put around the 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 man you know who is going to be hanged a criminal who is going to be hanged a halter pardon him it is a noose a hangman's noose will pardon him will help him hell no g n o w karnu thinnadana hell no his bones let hell chew chew him up what should he call her hor who keeps her company she becomes very very you know irritated she becomes emilia becomes very angry very furious because look at the questions that emilia puts why should he call her hor why should he call her a prostitute who keeps her company edavan avul eduthu ponadu ende kochamme eduthu ponadu who keeps her company where what place what time what form what likelihood well the moor is abused by some most villainous name i am sure that you know he has been poisoned he has been poisoned by some knave some dirty man some base notorious knave some scurvy fellow some idiot some stupid some wretched man might have poisoned poison the moor's mind oh heaven that such companions should st- unfold and they put in every honest hand a whip to lash the rascals well you know the moor is being tricked by such a man and i wish i could reveal i could unmask i could open i could open up i could reveal the true identity of such scoundrels like that and give a whip to every good man to beat him to beat these senseless people you mare adichu mare seriya itra വൃത്തികെട്ട നാറികളെ 
Look, the reference is to Iago, but Emilia doesn't know. Iago, speak within door because she knows all these things are, you know, uh, referred to him. Well, melle para, melle para. Uh, voice, keep your voice down. Speak within door. Emilia, because he becomes, you know, very, very shameful because these are all references to uh, him from his, from the mouth, from, from his wife's mouth. Emilia, oh, fight upon him. Hell with him. Hell with such people. Some such squire. He was that turned your wit, the seamy side, without and made you suspect me with the more. Poison. It must be, you know, some such idiot, some such stupid person who has got poison into your mind so that, you know, you started suspecting me. You started saying that I have slept with the moor. Iago, hey, you are a fool, idiot. <laughs> You are an idiot. Does they want to say, oh, good Iago. Look, oh, good Iago. What shall I do to win my lord again? Can you tell me what I should do to win back my husband again? Good friend, go to him. Please go to him. And by this light of heaven, yellow, by God, please, please go to him. I know not. By God, I don't know how I lost him. Here, I kneel. I kneel in front of you because this is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I don't know. I have not done anything. Here I kneel. If ever my will, my mind did trespass against his love, I have no idea. I have no idea. I swear by God, I have not done anything. I don't know how I have lost his love. If ever my will did the trespass against his love, either in this course of thought, either my mind, chindilo, nortatilo, pravartilo, nyanuritetum chedatila. Look, either in this course of thought, or in actual deed, action, or with my eyes. Either with my eyes, I have not done anything wrong. With my eyes, with my thought, with my action, no, I have not done anything. Or that with my eyes, my ears, or any sense delighted them in any other form, I have not done anything. Or that I do not, I do not yet, uh, if I ever did, I ever will, though he do shake me off to beggarly divorcement, love him. Whatever he does, I love him. I really love him. I am full of, I am full of love for him. Only one feeling, love, love, love. That is the only feeling that I have. Unkindness may do much and his unkindness may defeat my life. Well, unkindness, it is something, something very, very bad. But, you know, his unkindness, some sort of, you know, an ill treatment, this sort of a behavior, unkindness from him. Well, it is as if, you know, I am not alive because my whole life depends upon his love. Once his love stops, well, there is no life in me. My, 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 my life stops there, but never attain my love. I cannot say whore. I cannot utter the word. I cannot pronounce the word whore, prostitute. Because I hate it. Uh, it does abhor me now to speak the word. I cannot utter the word. To do the act. Then to do the act that might the addition earn. Now the world's mass of vanity could make it. You know, I can't even utter the word. Then how can I do something? Something, you know, uh, how, how can, for, 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 for the entire wealth of the, the world, I will not, I will not do the, the works of a whore. I will not do that. Well, it is very, very bad. It's a very, very bad situation. Then Iago says, I pray you, 
be content. Please cool down. Please calm down. It is just his passing humor. Well, it might be, you know, he's in a very bad mood. That's all. Just a bad mood. The business of the state, it must be, you know, something, something business of the state, something political. Does him offense and he does, and so he does chide with you. Which will be just angry with you know your wife, your children, someone who is near to you, you know, you'll be very impatient with uh, him or her. Maybe you know, because of that, some it the, it must it must be something political, he says. This demona. It were no other, if only that were all it is. I wish Matanuagale Yandan Pratikyan. Then Iago says, It is but so, I warrant. Yes, it is something political, nothing else. I promise. Then there is trumpet sound. The sound of trumpets of some important person. Has the end. So trumpets within. Somebody is inside. Hark. Listen. Hark. Listen. How these instruments, these musical instruments, summon to supper. Oh, it is a call to supper. It is a call, it is time for supper. The messengers of Venice stay the meat. Well, the Venetians are waiting for their food. The messengers go in. Please go inside because it's time for supper. Weep not. Don't cry. All things shall be well. Everything will be all right. So she goes inside with the Desdemona and the Emilia. But at the most proper time, at the appropriate time, comes Rodrigo, Desdemona's secret lover. How now, Rodrigo? Rodrigo says, I do not find that thou, you, dealest justly with me. You are treating me, you know, justly, in a just and fair manner. No. I don't believe, I do not find that you are, you are treating me in a just and fair manner. I am very sad. You are not treating me fairly. Then what in the contrary? What makes you say that? What makes you feel that? Rodrigo says, every day thou daffest me some device. What are those so? Every day thou daffest me with some device, some new trick. You put me off with some new trick every day. And rather, as it seems to me now, keeps from me all conveniency that supplies to me with the least advantage of hope. You take away all the money from me for no use. There is no, there is no progress in the plan. There is no progress in the plan. There is no progress in, in, a, in my affair. And it stands where it is. Well, you are, you know, taking, you, you are deceiving me. You are taking all the money from me. I will indeed no longer endure it. No, I cannot endure it. I cannot tolerate it. Uh, nor am I yet persuaded to put up in peace what already I have foolishly suffered. Now I am not going to sit back and suffer what you have done. Then Iago says, Will you hear me? Can you listen to me? Rodrigo, faith, I have heard one word word I have heard too much, for your words and performances are no kin together, because your words and actions do not match. They don't match. Your words do not match with your actions. Iago, now you charge me unjustly. Now this is unfair. Hey, Moshua, I'm gonna pray. Rodrigo, with not but truth. Well, this is the truth. 
what I am saying, what I am telling you is the truth. Because you, you, you make capital out, out of me, you take all the money from me, in the promise of, you know, daily, you, 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 you tell me a new plan, a new trick, but there is no progress. What is this? You are a cheat. No, don't say that. He's, but Rodrigo says, this is the truth. I have wasted myself out of my means. You know, I'm left with no money. All money is lost. The jewels you have had me to deliver to Desdemona would half have a corrupted a motorist. Well, the jewels that you have taken from me in the promise of giving it to Desdemona would have even made a nun, you know, want to, you know, it would have, you know, yeah, it would have made a nun to sleep with me. Well, what did you do with those, with the, that money, with the jewels, a waterist? You have told me, what? That she hath received them. You have told me that she is in possession of the jewels that you took from me in the promise of giving it to Desdemona. And returned me, what? The expectations and comforts of sudden respect and acquaintance. But I find none. And you told me that something would come soon. But nothing like that happens. Iago. Well, all right. Go to. Very well. All right. Then Rodrigo says, very well. Go to. Well, that's, you say, all right. I cannot go to. No, I can't. It's not good. It's not fine. It's not nice. It's not very well. Nay, I think it is scurvy. No, this is wrong. This is bad. You are cheating me and uh, begin to find myself formed in it. I am starting to realize. I have you know, begun to, to, to realize that you are cheating me. You are deceiving me. Iago. Mm. Now I got that. Very well. Okay. But Rodrigo says, I tell you, I got him. It's not nice. Ido Moshawa. This is very bad. It's not okay. I tell you this is not well. I will make myself known to Desdemona. Well, I am going to tell Desdemona my feelings. I'm going, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to talk to her straight away, without help, without an intermediary, without a go-between, without the help of a person, a middleman like you. I am going to talk her openly. I will make myself known to Desdemona if she will return me my jewels. Well, I am asking, I, I am going to ask for my jewels. I will, I will give over my suit and repent my unlawful solicitation. I will apologize. I will go and tell her, please give me back my jewels. I am sorry for all these things. I am for, I'm sorry for the things that I have done. I will apologize. And if not, I, otherwise, if not, assure yourself, I will seek, I will seek satisfaction of you. I will, I will challenge you to a duel. I am going to talk to her. Then Iago says, you have said now. You have said now. Then Rodrigo says, yes, said nothing but what I protest in tentament of doing. I said nothing. Oh, this is what, you know, I have, I am planning to do. That's all. Then Iago, why? I see there is a met, there is metal in the collar. The theater now. No, you are, you know, you have some guts. You are, you have, you are a very a courageous man. You are a valiant man. You have some cuts. There is some metal in thee. You have some cuts. Even from this instant, to build on thee a better opinion than ever before. Well, from this moment, I, I see that you have some courage. You are a courageous man. I understand. So, from this moment, you know, I can build up on the courage that I see in you. Give me the hand. Give me a hand. Rodrigo, that was taken against me a most just exception. Well, you have, the complaint that you have said about me is quite understandable. I can understand that you know, I have cheated you because I can, I can, I can see, I can understand your feelings. But yet I protest. I have dealt most directly in their affair. But don't feel otherwise. You know, I insist that, you know, I have done everything I could to help you. So far, I have not cheated you. Well, I have taken money from you. But I have 
done whatever I, I, I could. Rodrigo says, but it hath not appeared. It doesn't look that, uh, that way to me. I never felt that you have done anything to me. Then Iago says, well, I grant indeed it hath not appeared. I understand that. Well, there was, there was, there, there was no tangible result. You know, there was no result. There was no movement. There was, there was no development. You know, tangible development that you could feel. And your suspicion is not without wit and judgment. Well, I can understand what that, uh, uh, you know, your feelings are, you know, genuine. I understand. But, Rodrigo, if thou hast that in thee, indeed, but if you are courageous, if you have, you know, that thing, you know, which, uh, which, which, which you say you have, courage, which I have a great reason to believe than, uh, than ever. I, 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 I certainly believe that you are courageous. I mean purpose, courage and valor. This night show it. If you have courage, if you say, if you have what you say you have, that is courage, you show me tonight. In the Ratril Adhanikam. Because this is the night. This is the most important night. This is the most important night. Because if you waste this night, well, you, uh, you will be lost. You will be lost in your endeavor. I mean purpose, courage and valor. Well, this night show it. If thou, if you, the next night following enjoy not Desdemona, if you do it, if you show your courage tonight, well, you will be able to enjoy Desdemona tomorrow. Next. Now, if you are not able to do that, well, then take me from this world with treachery and device engines for me. You can kill me. I am sure if you can show your courage this night, you will be able to enjoy Desdemona tomorrow. If you can't, if you, if, if, if you, if you cannot, well, you can do whatever you, you like with me. You can even kill me. Well, what is it? Tell me, what's your plan? Is it within reason and compass? Is it uh, feasible? Is it something workable? Iago says, Sir, there is special commission come from Venice to depute Cashew in Othello's place. There is news which Rodrigo doesn't know. There is news from Venice that is Cashew has been appointed in Othello's place, Rodrigo. Is that true? Is it true? No, I can't believe it. Then Desdemona, then Othello and Desdemona return again to Venice. Will they go back to Venice? They are not going to stay here? Then Iago, oh no, he goes to Mauritania. He is not going to Venice. He is not going back to Venice. He is going to Mauritania and takes away with him the fair Desdemona. He will also take with him his beautiful wife, Desdemona. Unless his abode, unless he gets stuck here for some reason, you know, he should not go. That should not happen. There should be some reason for him to prevent his journey. Unless his abode be lingered here by some accident, there should be something that makes it that, 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 that stops his journey from here to Mauritania. Something. Wherein none can be so determined as the removing of Cashew. You know, we should get rid of Cashew. The best way, the best way to extend, the best way to postpone his journey is to get rid of Cashew. Get rid of Cashew. Eliminate Cashew. Kill him. What do you mean get rid of him? What do you mean removing him? Well, why Yago says by making him incapable of Othello's place. Now, knock his brains out. 
incapable of other space knocking out his brains knock out his brains what to go and that you would have me to do knocking out his brains you want me to do that iago well yes a if you dare do yourself a profit and right if you have the courage if you have the courage you know you can help yourself you are the best man for that because he is substitute with the harlotry he is going to have dinner with the harlot with the prostitute bianca he subs he is going to have supper tonight with the harlotry with the bianca prostitute dither i will go with him i will go to him i will also go there he knows not yet of this horrible fortune well he doesn't know that he is appointed as governor he doesn't know that he has been appointed because the news has not reached him if you will watch his going thence which i will fashion to follow between 12 and 1 between 12 and 1 between 12 o'clock at midnight midnight and 1 o'clock between 12 and 1 you know i'll plan it in such a way that you may take him at your pleasure well you can nab him you will be able to catch him you can nab him between 12 and 1 you just wait for one hour you know he, i will plan things in such a way that you that he travels he walks between he box walks in 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 one direction between 12 and 1 i will near to second your attempt i will be near i'll be i'll be near i'll be nearby i'll be in the neighborhood uh, to help you and i'll be near to second your attempt and he shall fall between us so he will be between you and me and in that at you know at that time on that occasion come not amazed at it but go along with me i'll show you such a necessity in his death that you shall thank yourself bound to put it on him it is now high supper time the night goes to waste about it well kill him at that time between 12 and 1 when he moves to his lodging his abode between 12 and 1 i'll be just behind you so when he is between you and when he is between you and me kill him knock his brain out so this is his plan so this is the only way you can show your courage then rodrigo well i will hear further reason for this i will hear i will hear further this i want to hear more about this because i want i want to i i want to have because if cashio is killed well in the plan will work out iago and you shall be satisfied yes you will you you, you hear all of all, all you want to hear i can i can tell you more details so this is the plan they are going to the planning to kill iago is going to make use of rodrigo to kill cashio and uh, you know in the next scene or in in the in the in the following scenes we'll see whether he succeeds in his plan to eliminate to knock to knock the brains out of uh, cashio whether he'll be whether they succeed in in in, in killing cashio we are going to see in the coming uh, scenes so we stop here